Hi, name is Talia, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Belasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vampire. This video is also a collab with Life of a Matte Typer, and she will be doing a review on the Electric Palette by Urban Decay. And you can check out her channel and video by clicking on the notifications, and I will also put the links down below. So don't forget to check out her channel and video. Before starting, I have to say that this is my first review ever, so if it is kind of bad, I am sorry about that. And well, this is all that I have to say, so let's get started. So you can get this product at Sephora and it is worth $20 US or 19.90 euros if you live in Spain, which is my country. So if you take into account the currency exchange rates, it is a bit more expensive in Spain. The lipstick comes inside this box which says Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It is a really nice box as you can see and at the bottom of it you can see the shade. I know this one says Echo but that's because I threw my Vampira box away so yeah. And the product also contains 6.6 milliliters, which can last a long time depending on how often you use the product. One thing that I remember about my Vampira box is that it said something about everlasting kisses. Everlasting liquid lipstick for everlasting kisses or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, in this box I cannot find that anywhere. But the thing is that I have to say that the kisses thing and the kiss proof thing, if you make out with somebody, I'm not talking just about little kisses or anything, if you make out with somebody, uh, this shade, Vampire at least, it is going to fade away, so yeah. <laughs> and this is what the actual product looks like. It comes inside of a plastic tube, as you can see. Okay, so the color, it is the one which I am wearing right now. It is supposed to be a kind of vampy red, kind of blood red color. But I have noticed that on certain people, like including on myself, it looks more brown than red and it also has like a slight gold tint to it. The color has one to neutral undertones and it also has a matte finish. And it also applies mostly even. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like, it is kind of long as you can see, but I think that it is easy to apply the liquid lipstick by using the wand, um, although if you want to be more precise you can always use a lip brush. Also I have to say that if it is the first time that you are using a liquid lipstick, maybe the result is not going to be what you expect. But remember that practice makes perfection, so yeah. <laughs> Before applying the liquid lipstick, and especially like with this shade, I have noticed that it is very important to exfoliate your lips before applying the product to get rid of any dead skin and stuff. Because this product, since it is a dark shade, it is going to clink on the wrinkles of your lips and everything and it is going to look really awful. Once you have applied the lipstick it should feel like you are wearing nothing on your lips and it will probably end up feeling kind of drying in like four hours, three, four hours, something like that. But the thing is that if you have dry lips, maybe it is a good idea to apply a lip balm before applying the lipstick. But take into account that anything that you apply before applying the liquid lipstick can reduce its longevity. Once you have applied the lipstick, try not to press your lips together for at least 30 seconds because even though the lipstick dries quite fast, there could be certain spots where the lipstick hasn't dried yet, so if you press your lips together this could create certain uneven spots and you don't really want that to happen. Uh, the reason because you don't want this to happen is just because you cannot apply this product over and over and over again because if you do that your lips are going to look like if you have applied 10 pounds of product. Your lips are going to look very cakey and it is not going to look good at all, so yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to be talking about how much the product lasts. Okay, this liquid lipstick will, will last for about 6 hours or so, and then it will start fading like on the corners of my lips and also on the center. Also, if you use something greasy, 
you can completely say goodbye to this unless obviously you are very careful with the way you eat and you avoid the food touching your lips otherwise bye bye so what I usually do if I know that I am going to be uh, eating out it is to carry um, the lipstick and a makeup remover in my purse and then I take off the lipstick and I reapply the product because if you apply it over the faded lips it is not going to look okay at all also when it comes to taking off this lipstick you should use a makeup remover which is oily based also with this product I have to say that when I take it off there is red all over my face I mean it bleeds so so badly and I, I don't know why that happens because like I got echo which is blue and when I take it off there is no blue all over my lips or my face or anything. Okay, and I think that this is all that I have to say. I hope that my review kind of helped you out. If you have any doubt, just comment down below and I will try to help you. Remember to check out Life of a Math Typer's channel and video, which are in the description box below. If you like my video, don't forget to give me a like. Let's see if we can get this video to 35 likes. If you want to see more videos from me, just subscribe to my channel. And uh, well, I will see you all in my next video, guys. Bye! Have a beautiful day!